Hey yo, what is up guys? I am back with yet another video. And as we always start off, like the last one, if you haven't seen my last story time video, link will be that in the description. It's about my girl problem. So if you guys wanna hear about that, make sure to click the link and check out my last video. But stay right here for this one because this is another good one. So this one today is about my first job. My first job was at Toys R Us. I got hired there because my brother said, hey, that guy carried out like my stroller that I'm gonna have for my kid. And then he said, you should apply there. And I said, okay, chief, I will apply there. So I did. And then about a week later, I think I was hired. And I went through orientation with this really, really weird, weird girl. Yeah, that's, we'll just, we'll just leave that there. Anyways, so I go through like training or whatever and I get through, it was actually really cool because the store was in a mall. So like, yeah, like the best part about it was you're in a mall. So even if you're at like some shitty store, you're still at the mall. So like that's like a bonus, I guess, in some regard. Um, yeah, so I was hired and I was still doing school at the time. So there I was doing school and working. And yeah, I was kind of a, I wasn't very good at the job at first. I won't lie about that. And, but like I got like better at it as time progressed at like most things in life. But so we'll just get to like the first part of the story because it's kind of funny. It's like, it's, it's actually like about how my first, I got two like bad customer stories. So first one I saw, my, my job was store bitch. So I was the bitch of the store. Anytime anyone needed something like taken away or cleaned or whatever the fuck, I was there to be the bitch to do it. And so they took me, I was out, I do a carry out for some people. I come back in, long ass line, long, long, long. And I'm over there fucking, what am I doing? So I'm coming back in the store after that, this, and there's this long line, and fucking this late, old lady just comes up to me and goes, you are so rude. And I'm like, huh? And she's like, I was calling you to start another line. And I'm like, well, one, I didn't hear you. Two, I'm not rude if I didn't hear you. Three, I don't fucking work cash, so go fuck yourself, is what I wanted to say. <laughs> and I just said, oh, well, that sucks to be you. I'm leaving and going back to whatever the fuck it was I was doing. So that's what I did. And yeah, I walked away, I'm pretty sure. And that's kind of what the end of that was. And I was like, man, people are actually like that. I, that was my first like shitty customer experience. My second one was even, it was even stranger. So this lady calls me to like the girls section. And as you know, I'm a, I'm a male. So I don't exactly understand the female products. And she asked me to help find this Monster High doll, this very specific one. And I'm like, I can, I, so I take her, I show her where the Monster High stuff is. And then she's just like, I'm looking for this specific one. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I've never seen this. I think it's a show. I've never seen this show. So sorry, chief. You're on your own. And then she's like, it's your job to know. It's your job to know. And I'm like, mm, do you think they hired me because of my expertise in Monster High? And then I, I, I actually, I literally said something like that to her. I just said, well, I'm like, yeah, they hired me because I know Monster High. <laughs> Dumbass. And you just hear like this look just like, like, and I just like walked away. I'm like, yeah, fuck off. Like, do you think? You, like open your fucking brain, lady, you dumbass bitch. Man, as you can tell, I still I guess I still hold grudges against these people for some reason. So one of the best things about this job, I also I didn't get to mention, was the people I actually worked with. And I met, worked with some really, really cool people. Uh, first, I want to give a shout out to someone I actually got to meet again there because of that place. There is this girl who I actually went to church with when I was like little. And I can't remember, and I was still in like school with her. I think she went to the other school than I did, but then we were in the same like high school again. But yeah, I, either either way, we ended up getting to see each other again. It was really cool. I was really happy to see her again after that. Um, next up, I actually want to talk about my friend Jared, because me and Jared, we still talk to this day, and we've been gone from there for like a long time, and he actually came out to see me last year, and it was really cool to see him again. And 
Yeah, the, it's funny how me and him met because we met when he was doing his orientation. He started a week later than I did, and it was a play day, and I was like playing with like this little dinosaur T Rex, and there was like this little kid. He's like he put his finger in the mouth, and I like, bit his finger, and he, I was like laughing, ha 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 ha, and yeah, he was he was quite uh he he's like the kid like jump back, and it was pretty funny. I laughed, ha ha ha, and. Yeah, that, that's how I met Jared, and there was this kid who was also in his orientation, because they were coming by, they were like a tourist, tourist group, and Jared's there, and I'm like, hey Jared, what's going on, buddy? And then there was this other guy, who was like the worst worker in like the history of workers. This guy sucked, his name was like Kyle or something, I can't remember his, his name, he, I'm like, you're a bitch, bro, you're a bitch. So, yeah, we just gotta get, we got to get rid of him, and... He, yeah, that guy, that guy was terrible. But Jared, Jared was really cool. Like, Jared, like, me and him would talk about, like, comic books and stuff. Just a cool-ass dude. And, yeah, so, I think he's going to Nepal, actually. So, enjoy your trip in Nepal, buddy. Um, next up, I want to talk about my friend Nick. He was an awesome worker. Like, this dude knew everything about the store. He knew where everything was at, like, any point in time. And I want to give him a huge shout-out, because he was, like, just an awesome, awesome guy. Like, he's, like, the nicest dude in the world, too. Um, like, literally, like, everyone who meets him, they, like, love him, and he's just, he's just such a nice guy, but yeah, he just, he was really good at the job, too, like, he just knew where everything was, and anytime I had a problem, I'd go up and ask him, and he was, like, always really polite, like, every time, or, like, an answer, or maybe he'd give me some attitude sometime. A funny thing I wanted to tell, talk about him, because if he does watch this, he'll laugh, was that when I started there, I always noticed there was these, like, uh, Power Rangers, Power Ranger action figures in the, uh, hold corner. And I'm like, who the fuck keeps getting these Power Rangers? Every time I walk by here, there's Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Power Rangers. And I, I mean, I could just look at the tag and like see like who who was getting these. And I didn't. <laughs> I just was too lazy to do that, I guess. And then he uh, eventually, I found out it was him who was always getting the Power Rangers. And like, man, you like Power Rangers? And he goes, I could never get them as a kid. I think that's how the story goes. He he could never get them as a kid, so that's he had to like compensate as an adult for it. Anyways, big shout out to you, man. I, hopefully you watch this. And mm, the, there were some cool girls who worked on the baby side. They were pretty chill. Um, so I don't really know, like, I don't know. I don't want to give, like, everyone's name, but, like, people who I like, know the best who won't, like, care. And not like this video is probably going to get, like, a lot of views. But another person I want to give a shout out to is Bree. Me and Bree didn't meet till like, later on, but she's really cool, and we see each other every time she comes out here. So, hey, Bree, you're going to be watching this, because I'm actually going to send it to you, and you're going to be like, oh, my God, this video is so sick. And, yeah, I know, it is. So, yeah, that's, like, a little bit of my Chronicles at Toys R Us. Uh, best part about it was it was the mall, and it wasn't, like, a terrible job, and I didn't, I work in fast food, so those were, like, the biggest upsides. The biggest downsides were the hours were ever shit, so you don't really want to stay at a job like that too long, especially if you like money, so <laughs> recommend finding something else if you like money. Uh, but other than that, I did get to work at like a childhood dream store that like every kid wants to work at when they're older, so like that's like a bonus in itself, and I used to go to that store a lot ever since I was like a little kid, so hey, you know what, that's, that's like the coolest part about it, so... Here, here's to that. That's that part of my life is over. But hey, I accomplished every kid's dream. So yes, we made it, Chief. We made it. Uh, anyways, you guys know what to do. Like the video, comment, subscribe. All right, peace out, guys.